Question first. A bulb is kept burning just right above the following solids. Name the shape of the shadows obtained in each case. Attempt to give a rough sketch of the shadow. You may try to experiment first and then answer these questions. So we have a ball, a cylindrical pipe and a book. In this question here we have our light source. In this case we have a bulb. So when light falls on this object, that is in this case we have a ball, then light will not be able to reach this area because it will be shadow of your object. And when you do this experiment, as the question also asks for us to do the experiment, then the sphere, that is this ball is a sphere, will cast a shadow of a circle. So you may try it. That's first. Again, same setup, only the object has been changed. In this case, we have a cylindrical pipe. So when you watch its shadow, it will be of a rectangular form and if your pipe is similar to square that is this length is equal to its diameter then it will cast a shadow of a square also shadows change their position whenever light source angle is changed but in this question it is constant that is it is above the object again in this case the object is a book and it will form a rectangular shape like this the shape here is little bit tilted because we are tilting our cylinder as well however these both are rectangle so that was your first question second here are the shadows of some 3d objects when seen under the lamp of an overhead projector identify the solids that match each shadow there may be multiple answers for these a circle a square a triangle and a rectangle as your shadows this question is reverse of previous question. In this case, we are given with the shadows and we have to name certain objects that form or that cast these given shadows. So a circle, we just did in our previous question, that is a ball gives you a circular shadow. So ball, there may be other examples like compact disc and many more other. So that was first. Second, a square. Well, dice gives you a square shape and a box in the shape of a cube can also give you a dice shadow. A triangle, a triangular pyramid will give you a triangle shape or a prism can also give you a triangular shadow. That's third. A rectangle, again a book as we did in previous question will give you a rectangular shadow. That's fourth. That completes second. Question third. Examine if the following are true statements. First, the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle. And second is, the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a hexagon. First part is, the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle. Well, yes, as you can see in this figure, this is your cube and it is forming a shadow of a rectangle. And now second, the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of hexagon. Well, now you can see this cube when tilted at certain angle and the shadow falls on certain angle, it can cast a hexagon. That is six-sided polygon. So the answer for both parts, first and second is yes. And that completes your last question, question number third.